In this video, I am going to provide you with the minimum and maximum distance for a plumbing fixture that is going to have a horizontal or quarter of an inch per foot sloping drainage pipe. Now, these numbers here are the ones that I used when I was doing a lot of work and the ones that I would suggest using today. However, the International Building Code book provides us with a different set of numbers. So to verify the numbers in your area, you need to make sure that you check with your local building department. So let's just say you need to move the sink and you're going to use an inch and a half line. This line needs to slope a quarter of an inch per foot. And if you do slope it a little further, then you might consider watching the other videos I'm going to make about where these building codes came from because I haven't found a building code that has a table. For example, if you slope this more than a quarter of an inch per foot, then you're going to need to reduce the length of the trap arm. And I haven't found anything that suggested you could lower the slope to an eighth of an inch and make this longer. So let's not get the cart before the horse here, get carried away. And the length of the pipe they're referring to here is going to be measured from about here or the top of the vent opening to the bottom point where the water from the trap is going to be level. And that would be from the furthest point over here and not measuring all the way around the trap. And if that doesn't make sense, give me a few seconds because in our next example, we are going to have a minimum. Now the minimum distance here, and I'm not 100% sure if they're talking about the pipe length or the same measurement I just referred to is going to be twice the diameter of the pipe. So if you're using an inch and a half diameter pipe, the minimum distance here is going to be three inches. And this was actually something I wasn't aware of until I made a video on one of my two-story home editions where a plumber pointed that out to me. And even though you might not ever run into a situation like this on a sink drain, you could run into it on a laundry drain. And again, this wasn't crystal clear to me when I was trying to interpret the code, whether or not they are referring to the distance of the pipe that is going to connect to the fittings or the distances here I was referring to where the measurement would be from where the water level in the trap settles, which would be around here somewhere. And then you would measure from here to the vent opening instead of measuring the overall length of the pipe that you're going to be using between fittings. And hopefully I didn't make this too confusing by providing you with the different sets of numbers from the building code books. However, you need to understand that it's up to your local building code authorities to figure out the maximum and minimum lengths you can use for your project. Now to make things even more confusing, I'm going to produce two more videos. And one of those videos will provide you with some more information on why the maximum distances are there. And the other one will provide you with a reason why the minimum distances are there. And as always, any questions, feel free to leave them in the video description box and I will answer them as soon as possible.